Moscow imposed administration plans referendum in Ukraine's Kherson on joining Russia. Russia moving forward with referendum plans in occupied southern Ukraine, says Kherson mayor. The Moscow installed military administration ruling the area around the occupied Ukrainian city of Kherson said it is preparing to hold a referendum on joining Russia. Yes, we are preparing for a referendum, and we will hold it, Kirill Stremasov, the deputy head of Kherson's military and civil administration, said in a video published on Telegram. Stremasov said Kherson should become a full-fledged member of Russia. Russian installed officials said earlier that their security forces had detained Kherson Mary Horkolikayev on June 28 after he refused to follow Moscow's orders. A local official said the mayor, Kherson, an important port on the Black Sea, has been fully under Russian control since early March, just weeks after Moscow launched its unprovoked invasion of Ukraine. Russian forces in control of territory in Ukraine's south are moving forward with plans to hold a referendum on integrating the occupied areas into Russia, according to the mayor of the southern city of Kherson. Ihor Kolikayev, who continues running day-to-day -day operations in Kherson despite efforts by occupying forces to appoint their own mayor, said in an interview that a meeting recently took place in the city where Russian officials and local administrators appointed by them discussed when to hold a vote on whether the region would join Russia. Reports that Moscow was pursuing plans to hold a referendum on severing Russian-controlled parts of the Zaporizhia and Kherson oblasts first surfaced in the spring, but died down following counterattacks by Ukrainian forces that have seen the line of control shift across the south. Those plans appear to be gaining momentum again, with Russian lawmakers floating the idea of a new federal district within Russia comprising Ukraine's Donetsk, Luhansk, Kherson and Zaporizhia administrative regions. Ukraine's military intelligence has also said that Russia is making Ukrainian schools switch to its educational curriculum and is handing out Russian SIM cards to connect Ukrainian cell phones to the Russian network.